and welcome to A Cat in the Garden. I have a few plants to show you today. I wanted to make another video in my series of how to spot the difference between house plants that look very similar and that are quite possibly related. And this one is one that I've kind of been debating how to approach it. It is one that is very common in terms of mistaking plants for each other or thinking that they're the same plants, but it's a, it's a little, little sketchy as to whether or not one of these plants is actually different from the others. So we're just gonna dive right into it, honestly, and I'm gonna share my thoughts about these plants and we'll just go from there. So they are Epipremnum, they are all pothos, and if you haven't guessed already, they are the Pearls and Jade, the Enjoy, and the Glacier Pothos. So we're gonna put magic to the side. Good boy. And I'm going to show them, though I really hope you appreciate one of them. Doesn't look its best right now. But we're gonna start out with the Pothos Enjoy. So this one, I'm gonna kind of go over the characteristics of them and what sort of is said about them, and then we'll kind of determine whether or not they're actually different plants. So the enjoy is said to have sort of like the quintessential enjoy leaves are these, where they're kind of creamy white on the outside and they have green on the center. Sometimes they have different shades of green. They are also known to not really have much flex in the cream or the white at all. It's mostly supposed to be more sectoral variegation, but they are known for having the green in the center. Now this one does have some green on the edges of the leaves, which we will definitely get into, but that is kind of what characterizes and enjoy. Mine is not as full as I would like it to be. It kind of makes me sad to be honest. I would like it to be a more full plant. So maybe one of these days when I'm out shopping, I will just get it a little something, you know, get, get a little small buddy to put in here with it. When I moved last year, it, uh, it lost a lot of the leaves up top and it's honestly probably the thirstiest pothos that I own. Pothos are generally not thirsty at all. They are super common houseplants because they kind of thrive on neglect, but not this one. So I'm really bad at remembering to water like just this one instead of all of them, like every three weeks when I get around to watering pothos, but I'm getting a little bit better. So it does have a bit of new growth and yeah, I just want to make it a little bit more full, but that is sort of what is commonly known and described as an enjoy. The next one is going to be the Pearls and Jade, and this one has seen better days. So, <laughs> it lives in my bathroom, and it's just like trailing down into oblivion. But you can kind of see, we'll just show you what it looks like up top, because that's a bit more full and bushy. So this one is known for having the flex in the white or cream part of the variegation. It also is known for having this silvery tone to the, a lot of the green. It doesn't have to be on all of the green, but unlike the Enjoy and the Glacier maybe, it does have that silvery tone. So it is a different plant. This plant actually was cultivated at a university. So it, it is its own cultivar. It is completely different from Enjoy. It's its own thing. It is a different plant and I need to take it out of Lekka <laughs> because I have discovered that Lekka is just not it. Lekka is not it for me. I think it was a fad. I tried it. I tried it on almost all of my pothos because I was like, well, they're really easy going plants. So we'll see. And this is what happened. So we're probably going to give this guy a haircut and try to get this full bushy look in something that's not like a probably chunky mix because pothos do really well in that. And I've just completely tangled the plant down here. That is Pearls and Jade. I will kind of show you what they look like next to each other. So this one right here is the Pearls and Jade. You can see the silvery tone on the leaves. 
as well as the flex in the variegation where the enjoy is completely sectoral and is kind of known for having that variation in the center of the leaf. So that leads us to the last one. And that is what's called the glacier pothos or epipremnum glacier. And this one is described as sort of presenting like an enjoy, but with wide leaves like a mandula. And sometimes having little like green electric stripes in the leaves. I'll show you what I mean. This is what I purchased as a glacier a long time ago, but it lived in Lekka until recently and was very unhappy. So it grew really weird. It grew tiny leaves, didn't do much. And since putting it in moss, it's actually put out these three beautiful leaves that are actually starting to kind of show the variegation that would resemble a glacier pothos. Now, it is known to have more green on it there. And then you can kind of see if I put this leaf up very close, there's like a stripe inside the variegation there of green, but I have noticed that on pearls and jade as well. In terms of the leaves being wide, like a mandula, maybe this one, but if I hold this up next to an enjoy, can you really tell the difference? Because I can't. And so that's kind of what's making me question whether or not Glacier Pothos is a real cultivar. I paid a lot more money for this plant than I paid for both of those combined. I paid $4 for this enjoy and I paid probably like seven for this pearls and jade way back when. I paid $18 for a two node cutting of Glacier two years ago. And I just don't know. I, I, I haven't seen a lot of information about it. Not a lot of people are into pothos really in terms of like collecting rare pothos, except for the Taruno ones that are coming from Japan right now. Nobody really talks about Glacier. I haven't been able to find a lot of information about it other than what people describe as the leaf shape and sort of the variegation pattern having more green. But it's just not enough for me when I'm literally putting it next to an enjoy and they look almost identical. Maybe I need to grow this out more because I am starting to get healthy growth on it, but it's really just not that convincing to me that it's different. And I've seen a lot of pictures of Glacier on the internet that look the same as Enjoy. So I'm not gonna completely write it off as a different plant yet. I'm gonna try to find more information about it. If you have any information about Glacier Pothos, I would love if you could send me that because I wanna know, I love finding out sort of the differences between plants that look really similar. It's sort of something that I find really interesting because there are so many different plants that look really similar, but they're actually different and in a stable way. There are lots of different types of Lacanosa out there in terms of Hoya that look really similar. There's a lot of Scandapsis, though that's kind of fuzzy as to whether or not they're all different, all coming from overseas and whatnot. So yeah, I really am interested in this topic. And so that's why I really wanted to get a glacier when I bought it because I was like, oh, I want to collect all of the pothos like their Pokemon. And I just have been a little bit let down by this plant so far. I mean, you can tell it's definitely different than a pearls and jade. I will give it that. If you put them up next to each other, those are different plants. The real question is when I put it up next to the enjoy, it just looks like an enjoy that has more green on it. And I've seen a lot of enjoys out there that have very low variegation. So I'm like, Ugh, I don't know. But I can tell you for certain that the enjoy and the pearls and jade are definitely different plants. And 
that one is a little bit more obvious to me though a lot of garden centers actually when they're selling them or big box stores do not label them properly or label them at all so it's kind of led people to think that they are the same font so that is going to be it for this video i hope you enjoyed the cats just running around in the background being adorable they are similar too but they're different cats <laughs> they're the same breed so kind of relates to this video let me put one of them down two is a lot to hold at once but if you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up down below and subscribe so you don't miss anything else from me and my adorable kitties and plants. <laughs> Thank you again, and we will catch you in the next one.